Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back uh, to another stream. Sorry, I kind of lied about being back on here in an hour. Um, I actually ended up getting called back into work early, so I wasn't able to do the afternoon stream. Um, and I could have been on a little bit earlier, but I kind of just laid down for a little for a little bit. Um, so this is definitely going to be a smaller uh, uh, midnight stream. Um, probably like 30, 40 minutes maybe. Just wanted to hop on and play for a little bit. Kind of slowly chip away back at um, at uh, Elix. Um, it's looking more and more grim that we won't be able to uh, finish Elix in time before Dying Lake 2 uh, cause, because it's not a global release I'm pretty sure because you know I live in New Zealand wink wink um, I think I could play uh, in a couple days I think you play a day early pretty much when you do that But, uh, but yeah, that's that. So, carry on. I think we have to check out on this world heart out in the desert with, uh, for the Berserkers. Um, I think, oh yeah, we were doing a couple of these quests so we get up to level 25 to get up to, uh, max rank with the clerics. I also got that. Well, it's on now, asshole. I thought the world heart was doing it. What did it do to the desert? When they killed it. I guess they saw it as an invasion. was doing here what it had it done for the desert and they killed it i guess they saw it as an invasion how could this be an invasion this is sad pray 
brave but stupid. Why did he even attack us? Orders? For a Lexit? Do they even know what they're doing out here? All they need to do is leave us alone. What do you want here, Cleric? And speak straight. I don't have time for lies or talk of Kalan. What are you doing here? This is our camp. We're here to grow the world heart, in between being attacked by the Duke's men. But once more, they've taken on more than they can handle. And so my duty has been done. Why did you make camp here? For the world heart. This is where warlords told us to plan it, so here we are. Those bastard outlaws have damaged it a few times, but it's growing back. And soon this land will be changed. From empty desert, there comes new life. And those bastards will find their land transformed to paradise, if they don't kill us first. Is there anything you need? We could do with some healing potions. We need to heal ourselves as well as the world heart. If we're to stay and complete our mission, that is. Could you get us those supplies? I'll get you some potions. Five small healing potions should be enough. That will help the people here and give us a couple spare in case of further attacks. Ragnar is waiting for a report. Then tell him what you've seen here. The eyes in Goliath are turned to the elves, or to the clerics, and with good reason. But we have a mission here, and it is under threat. Without new men, everything we have started here will turn back to desert. So you're planning to stay? The outlaws don't believe in anything. Why should they believe in keeping this land? <coughs> With the right equipment, our cultivators will heal the world heart, and we'll see change here. Until then, I have to prevent more outlaw attacks. I just don't get it through my head why they would fight us so hard when we are trying to make this desert <coughs> inhabitable. I mean, shit, I guess. Do I have any potions? I only got one.
news from North Edan is worrying. Some things just take time. Well, the forces out there are always going to make that difficult. The Albs killed both his parents and his sister. There's more to all of this, I'm sure. Big. You are to making the pit. sense. It should be disposed of. Problem comes down to supplies. Whatever you say, the world hearts are changing the face of the man. I'm sure that would help you. Not like that. Post in Tavar was attacked by outlaws. You've seen this for yourself? Or did you hear about it from your friends? Speak up now. Has the World Heart survived? It was destroyed. And our men? Geralt has managed to hold the outlaws off, for now. He has done well. I will send him reinforcements. If we can hold that part of Tavar, then in only a few years that desert will be forest. And Idan will stretch yet further across Magalan. Here, you have earned this as payment for your news. This should at least cover the supplies it took to bring me this information. You have your reports. It is not an easy quest that our forefathers have given us. But by the Pilgrim, we will see Amrek's dream become real. As he built Idan from desert to forest, so shall we continue his work until all Magalan is cleansed of Elix and grows pure again. How do you ask me that, expecting to be? I hear. Yep. Uh, if you didn't, you must earn those. You don't feed the belly, the rest of the body will die. Hmm. seem worried. Do you need me to explain that again? I would have approached the situation differently. Well, the Horde's defenses have never been breached. If you have to rely on someone, then you are lost. If we don't work together, we won't stand a chance. You are making no sense. Yes, I think we can do that. Uh, Baker. If that is everything, I should get on. Well, the Horde's defenses have never been breached. I have to go. Take that tick to the pit. It should be disposed of. Wow, I'm so close to uh Uh what's it called? Twenty five.
At least I don't look like Stinky Boy anymore after the game that amulet. That's nice. I don't like that effect. I would have to like... How it stays on. Welcome, Cleric. Always nice to see your kind here. That way, I can tell you to go fuck yourself, right to your face. Go on, get the fuck out of my tavern. Don't ask me what that was about. Oh, wow. Yeah, you just can't find those these days. Okay, I see how it is. It kind of sucks I wasn't able to find a, a teleportation. Uh. Try anything, you are dead. Kind of creepy, but okay. I just need this little bit of XP, man. Hopefully this is enough to get me up. wasn't sure if you'd understand what we're doing here, if you'd help, and yet you share what you have. Here, for your trouble. Can't worry about half the cost for those. I can work with that. <laughs> Man, it's not even funny how close I am to... Stormson? Have you seen him anywhere? Yeah, I met him. Do you know where he is now? No, I don't. 
He was supposed to meet me, but Oren said he'd left with two guys just before I got there. I haven't been able to find him since. Who did he leave with? Oren didn't say, which is strange. He was really evasive, and it's not as if he wouldn't know. Oren knows everyone in Goliath. Could Stormson have left with outsiders? I'd have heard if there were more outsiders here. Everyone talks about incomers, and Oren would have said something for sure. Then the men were berserkers. But if they were from Goliath, then why didn't Oren say who they were? Maybe he was told not to. God, it always throws me off how all the women look the exact same. Stormson must have been arrested. Can you think why Angram would have Stormson arrested? Stormson spoke out against the law. He thought we were losing the war, that we needed to cha change. I don't know. He asked me to go with him to look for supplies. I Maybe. If he's alive, I will find Stormson for you. Would you speak to Angram? Okay. Be careful. I can take care. Technology will get you into trouble here. Stormson's disappearance. Stormson? The hunter? He was taken from the tavern. Oren refuses to say who took him. And what business is Stormson of yours? Do you know what happened to him? He was arrested, questioned, and sentenced. There was no doubting his guilt. He had spoken his thoughts quite freely and admitted that he was planning to break the law. What crime did Stormson commit? He had fallen under the spell of technology. He had the deluded idea that we should give up magic and take up guns. Why not use both? Give up studying magic to fight an arms race we can't win? Commit ourselves to the use of pure elex, forbidden by Amrek and the Pilgrim? The Pilgrim has committed us to finding a way to win this war with magic. To spread the lie of technology at such a time is treason. Speaking is a crime. He went a little further than that. He was actively seeking to buy forbidden technology. Weapons from the clerics. What did he want weapons for? To prove his theory. But his intentions are of no concern. The law is clear. Such weapons are forbidden. Stormson knew that, and he made his choice. Now, the law has been served. He has been exiled to the valley. A lenient sentence to send him back to the place he loves. You know technology is forbidden by law here.
These berserkers were killed with energy weapons. This looks like the work of clerics. Might as well go back and tell her. Yeah, this is a weird thing about this game where like you'll get bonus stuff if you go back and talk to him. Like you took a mission to let this woman know what happened, but then you take away the the mission saying it's completed. The fight is the only thing that May matters. The sunshine. That makes a real man. A few shards and all this will be easier. Take that. Nah. Someone hears that. The fight oh, is the only it. thing that matters. That makes a real man. I don't have the shards. So I'm gonna head back. Are you? We can see how much this shit costs. I don't know why they can't just give me the region armor for free for reaching that rank. You can be proud that you have achieved this rank. You completed the task you were set to our satisfaction, and loyalty should be rewarded. A new life begins for you today. You have proven to be a loyal servant of Kalan, ready to take on the duties of a paladin. We are honored to have you amongst us. Your new rank will allow you to acquire equipment befitting your status. That will show others the honor you have earned. I am counting on you to go out into the world and convince people that the path of Kalan is the only true way. Live your life according to Kalan's rules, and you will open your path to enlightenment and a place in the infinite skies. I have nothing more for you here, Paladin. You must determine your own course. Go out into the So that's that's pretty much the end of this quest line. <laughs> I, I can see what people meant though when like after you complete the faction quest line they don't really play a role into the uh into the rest of the game because there's still like three acts of this game left this you can purchase including the mk3 armor i want to right you are Alright, I gotta make some motherfucking money here. I'm ready to like give this game like all my stuff up if I could just get this armor. Alright, so.
Oh, I should, I should look that up. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Oh, yeah. That looks sexy. Twenty twenty six hundred 2600 there, okay.
I'm getting those pants, man. I don't care if I have to sell everything. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing. Oh yeah. There we go, baby. Right you are. Well. I have no money. But I do look cool now. I'm so broke. I just spent all of my money and all my resources to get this armor. But God, doesn't it look cool? Magalan grows here. Uh, quick, quick, you have to help me. Rot boards have burrowed through the cliffs. They're threatening the seedlings. We have to stop. Follow. Fucking monster.
fucking mutants. They're so desperate for Elix, they even try eating the mana from the seedlings. All that work, ruined by damn rot bores. Mutants eat Elix. It's like a drug. They need it. If they don't get it, they die. They'd rather go without food than Elix. That doesn't help me keep the seedlings alive, though. The seedling fields are safe. The rot bores are dead. Rot bores? He told me he suspected something was bur- I assume, Oric? It seems so. Good. Your help is appreciated. Thank you for standing with us. Caring for- With care and luck, one of the mi- Of all the ones we grow, they But those few are- Those few- How are the seedlings? But it will take time to train Oryx's replacement and give them the care they need. And, in the meantime, we have a different problem. I've had to put all the cultivators to work to repair the damage the rop- And that's left me short of people to gather the healing roots our healers are to- You need someone to- Yes. Any pair of hands- Please, we need those healing roots. Yeah. Good. If you can make sure you pick the mature root, those are the only ones. Where can I find? They grow in small clusters around the lake above Goliad. They can be easy to overlook, so you may need to search for them a little. Why don't you plant healing roots near the seedling fields? They'd be easier to defend. We've talked about it, and the growing conditions are right there. You're right. As soon as the next seedling harvest is in, we'll make... Someone discovers rare items that are legally questionable. No, f and I just do as. Uh, yeah. What? Catch. Do you? No, no. Stupid would. Uh, smart knows how to. And. Exactly what? Me. I. Born the cultivator knows where they grow. And if you could persuade him to let you harvest them, then maybe I could persuade someone to give you... And if I just... You could. You could. But then Warren's not gonna be... Well, there is something that needs acquiring... Yes. Well, Yora, the guy in charge there, needs help. So, how about you help collect... You want me to bring you things with Eli... Well, truth be told, Yora really doesn't like that stuff. And I know people who... Someone else got the machine parts you wanted. Oh, well. Life is just one long series. And... You've noticed the big build? Yeah. Well, it just so happens that... I'm telling you, all you have to do... Anything else? Not... If any... Well, there is one thing. Tell me about Well, if you're sure. Just... Well, you see Ragnar, one of the big... Eric... A family heirloom? Well, yes. Just not from... Not Ragnar's either. 
Who knows how he got the sword, but it wasn't legit. Some say Eisenfaust was the real founder of the Berserkers. That he took Amrek's dreams and made them real. They say that 50 years ago, Eisenfaust destroyed an entire army of the clerics fight. Load of old hooey, of course. But even so, with I'll give you a reason. Your skills, my but Ragnar's not. I'll get. Then you. Stop messing around with that thing. I'll meet you again later on. I thought I would just get all these quests. Right now. God. How can you not like this armor? And this is okay. I'm starting to not regret my decision becoming a cleric. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not now. What do you do here? Uh As Amrek said, our hope for Magalan is that all Elix shall become mana. That from mana, from wasteland. So, the workers bring the Elix to us. And we, well, that is supposed to be what happens when people. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, th those who cast magic will tell you that while the elves lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana open. Isn't mana? It is the power of mana that is addictive. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the elves have to have, and we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in. The energy the elves use in magic is torn from the world. It damage. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the mana shrine. There is something in this mountain. The way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. <sighs> If you bring anything that has been altered by Alex close to the... I am certain that you are... You're right. It's like ripples in water. You always were sensitive to these things. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alb's machines. But it doesn't just make us strong, it also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted. At the same time as Krau, one of our guards,
So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief, but thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. Shit! You know what? It's probably that one guy that I saw. A real long time ago. Crawl's diary. No sign of the man. But let's see if he has left me a clue in here. Last entry. First the Elix devours him, now it devours me, but I have no choice. Surely to steal is better than to kill. If I don't act now, then death must follow. So, the choice is made, and we must both go into the mausoleum. Perhaps we can live in this house of the dead. <laughs> Either this guy is reliving teenage poetry, or I just found out where he went. I should tell Caldrum. All technology must be consigned to the past. Take it to the pit. <laughs> I'm just a walking man of technology, dude. found Kral's diary. Where did you find it? And does it tell you anything useful? By the balcony of Ragnar's stronghold. Kral wrote about a mausoleum outside of Goliad. Maybe he went there. Then he has picked the perfect place to hide. I don't know anyone who would go willing into that mausoleum to search for him. It is a place for the dead. I'll go. If you tell me where it is. Very well. You will find the mausoleum in the area outside Goliath that is down below the pit, south, southeast towards the world heart. Tread carefully, though. People are telling stories of some sort of undead creature there. Not that I believe in such things myself. Ah, uh, look how far we come, you guys. Wearing region armor with the clerics, got a plasma rifle. Hell, I even got a rocket launcher. With no ammo on it currently. Because I sold it all. Because I'm broke. <laughs> um, but we are going to... Gonna do a quick save here. I'm keeping that other save just in case I want to come back and play as the Berserkers. But, um. Yeah. I think we're gonna leave that stream off here. Um, like I said, just a short stream. Um, also, not very talkative because uh, it is late at night and I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I guess I wasn't really in the mood either to talk too much, but 
anywho, we did a few things. Um, I don't know. I think I might just kind of gung ho for the main main story, you guys. I think um, I think getting this equipment kind of just made me. Um, I think we're ready to start tackling some more of the main story, so I think we'll do that, and hopefully we can make some motherfucking money, um, so I could buy a new sword <laughs> and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I will. Do I? How many? I got no. Yeah, I need a lot more agility and intelligence to um. Oh yeah, we could do this quest. You know what, actually, before I go... You know what? I think we'll actually. I got a bad feeling about this place. Oof. I don't know how that hit me, but... We will fight together. snowy way out here just looks like you old Canada be careful You know what? We'll just kill these things because uh, I need some more fried meat for health. Here that the comet struck our world, and still the ground bleeds from that day until this. Oh, so that's why there's like lava and stuff there. Cool. Learn something new every day. 
Um, so yeah, we'll uh, when we come back next, we'll go meet this crazy, uh, crazy XL person. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just see right here. I don't like being broke, but what's the point of money if you don't use it, right? Motherfuckers gotta look good when stuck in the elves. But yeah, anyways, that's what we're gonna leave off. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, and we will carry on with the main story. So, yeah, like, I'm still in chapter two, and we're like 26 hours in, so I've been kind of putting it off pretty long now, so. Yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace.